Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another paint test video. Have you ever wondered what interior paint covers the best? Well, if you have, we're gonna figure that out in today's video. Don't worry, I have a whole other video on which exterior paint covers the best, but today we're just gonna be talking about interior. Now I chose to test these four brands because in my area, which is the United States and I'm in Colorado, they are easily accessible and in my opinion, the most recognizable brands. And I also like the companies. I think they're great companies that stand behind their products. And maybe most importantly is the other tradesmen in my industry probably use one of these paints. You know, Sherwin-Williams is a big one. I feel like the most used in my area. Then it's a toss up between Benjamin Moore. Not too many people use Bear and PPG. I had to include it because they're the second largest manufacturer of paint in the world. And although here in my area, they're not too big at the moment, I do know that in other parts of the United States, they are very popular and commonly used. Just a quick explanation of the paints. Sherwin-Williams is a paint manufacturer and the distributor. And if you go into a big box store, you might see some like HGTV or some kind of Sherwin-Williams product but you don't find this product in those big box stores. You have to actually go to Sherwin-Williams to get Emerald. And it's my understanding that that is their top of the line best product that they sell. Same thing with PPG. You can get PPG products at those big box stores, but not this particular one. You have to go to a PPG store to get this one. Now, Bear is actually owned by a company called M-A-S-C-O, Masco and they make a lot of building materials and they have an exclusive deal to only license or sell their paint at Home Depot. It isn't sold anywhere else, but it's not made by Home Depot. Home Depot is the distributor and Bear is the maker of the paint. And then Benjamin Moore, in my area, there's no actual Benjamin Moore stores. Uh, there's distributors of the Benjamin Moore and I believe it's actually Berkshire Hathaway that owns Benjamin Moore, but it's a very popular paint that most people have at least heard of them. And if you go to a big box store, most of them don't sell Benjamin Moore, at least in my area, I believe Ace does. But I just wanted to clear that up if you you know, go to buy this paint and you're like, wait a minute, I can't get it. That's just a little bit of the explanation. But as far as I know, in these paints, I tested their top of the line best paint. So if you ask the actual manufacturer, hey, which paint is gonna perform best and which one's gonna have the best coverage, these are the paints Again, my understanding, my opinion that they would say. All right, so let's answer the question, which paint covers the best? Now, of course, like most things in life, it's not just a black and white clear answer. It depends. Let me explain. I heard the bold claim that Bear said Marquee, which is their top of the line interior paint, covers in one coat. And being in the painting industry, I just didn't believe it. I was like, I doubt that's actually true. So I wanted to investigate it and actually test it. I made a whole nother video just on that subject. You can watch that video if you're interested in it. And what I found is with my testing, I did find that it was mostly true and there was a catch to it. Now the catch is there's about a thousand colors that are one coat bare marquee approved or that bear is saying will cover in one coat. Now a thousand colors, it is a lot. But when you consider the average color deck has between 16 and 1700 colors, you can see that you are limited on color choices. White is a very popular color and there's about three whites that are bare marquee one coat approved that are gonna cover. And as you can see here, Bear is saying down here on the bottom left that if it has this one in the color, it's a one coat guarantee. So there's only three in this whole picture. And you can see as I scroll through the whites, there really isn't that many whites that they guarantee will cover in one coat. Now, a lot of these are off-white colors. The three whites I was mentioning before is what I would consider to be really white, and I'll show you an example of their whitest one coat coverage here in a minute. Now, I think being a homeowner that's gonna take on a project and paint your kid's bedroom over the weekend or something, there is a lot of value there in the fact that if you do pick out of those thousand colors, it could help with the speed of your project and getting it done with one coat, but that's kind of the catch. So from that video, a lot of really good questions respond. You know, we were testing knockdown textured drywall, rolling it on with a mini roller, microfiber, half inch nap. But naturally a big question is, okay, how does it cover when you cut in the edges with a brush? Or how does it cover when you go over smooth trim with a brush? 
And for the most part, it did cover. You can see right up there, we tested some really common colors and we did get one coat coverage with a brush on knockdown texture drywall, which is popular in my region. There's not a lot of smooth or orange peel walls. I know in different areas of the United States, this isn't that popular. So results could vary, but there are a couple situations where the one coat application is not really practical. Now, what I mean by practical is I don't think in the real world it's gonna help you know, a DIY homeowner trying to get this job done with one coat, but I do think that Bear can still claim that you can get one coat coverage. So let me explain. When it comes to painting trim with a brush, it's a smooth trim, you're gonna brush it out. Most colors, probably more than 90, maybe even 95% of those thousand are gonna cover, and a big thing that's gonna matter is the color you're going over, and again, most colors you're going over, it's gonna work and cover. However, when you do a drastic color change, such as this ultra white trim and doing one of these deep, rich blue or red colors that you see here, I think it would be more practical just to do two coats because you can actually get one coat coverage, but you're riding the line of putting enough paint on so that it doesn't actually run and form drips on you, but not too little paint to where you don't get one coat coverage. And to actually do that throughout a whole room, I feel like it would take more time and be harder than to just go ahead and put two coats on. That's what I mean by it's not practical. Now it could still be a benefit because some colors are gonna take three coats to cover. However, if you're using a bare marquee one coat color on a situation like this, you should be really safe with two coats. I was surprised and when we laid it on really thick, you'll normally be able to see brush strokes when you try to put paint on that thick, like right up to the edge before it runs, but it did dry and lay out a lot better than I was suspecting. And the end result product of that red, you can see it did actually lay out flat and do a lot better than I expected. Now the other area where it's not exactly applicable is when you're doing a drastic color change. So you can see back here, we got a black background putting a white over, which is probably the most drastic color change. And white is one of the hardest colors to get to cover. Now in that situation, we did use a bare marquee one coat color. And you can see we used two different nap sizes. Again, this is knockdown texture. And you can see it did actually make a big difference in what nap you used. And on camera, you might even say that's full coverage. You know, if you get within a couple feet and you're really analyzing and looking at it, I can see some of the black bleeding through on the half inch nap. And perhaps if we went up to like a three fourths inch nap and really laid it on thick, you could get full coverage. But again, I don't know if that's necessarily applicable because the amount of time you're gonna spend trying to put it on super thick and get a really nice, even consistent coat without having issues where the sides of your roller, you have a buildup film of paint so it's thicker in some areas and lighter in other areas. For a do-it-yourself homeowner, I just feel like the time you're gonna spend trying to lay on one perfect coat, it might be worth it just to do two thinner, easier to apply coats where you get full coverage. So in those instances, it's not the most applicable, but I do wanna say I was very shocked and surprised. I was not expecting, I thought the claims were BS, that Bear does have a paint that if you choose out of their thousand colors and you're painting over standard typical stuff, like not black over white, you're gonna get one coat coverage, which was again, super surprising. Now I realize painting companies are gonna say, oh, that's not good quality and this and that, but again, I'm taking it from the perspective, if you're a homeowner that wants to do this in a weekend, only doing one coat versus two, that could be helpful. Maybe you have a rental property and you just need to paint a wall because they marked it up or something. You know, it, it might be useful for those situations. I'm not trying to give any instructions and tell someone how to paint. All I'm doing is presenting the results of some testing that I did. All right, so that was way too long of an explanation about the bear mark key one coat colors, but what about if you don't pick one of those colors? Just a white color covering black, which paint actually covers the best? Now, I picked a Sherwin-Williams color. It's SW7005 Pure White, and I asked all these manufacturers to match that paint color and to make it for me, and you can see me here uh, actually applying it to the wall. So I put on one coat, of this color I used a mini roller with a 3 8 inch nap and I did it the best I could I you know made sure that the roller was completely saturated with paint before I started and then just make sure I rolled on as thick of a coat as I possibly could uh, the video you're seeing is actually sped up by 4x 
So it took four times as long as what you're seeing to do it. And again, I just did my absolute best to keep everything as consistent and even as possible. So let me show you the results I saw after it dried. All right, so after one coat, here are the results. We got the Sherwin-Williams Emerald, Benjamin Moore Aura, Bear Marquis, and the PPG Manor Hall. I know the camera won't do it justice. Let's do a close-up of the Emerald. And now the Aura. And the Bear Marquee. And the PPG Manor Hall. I would say the Aura covered the best and most. I would say Bear Marquee is the second best, Manor Hall third best, Emerald was the least amount of coverage. I think they'll all cover once we put on another coat. I think the Benjamin Moore Aura as well as the Manor Hall have a little bit more yellow in it than Marquee and the Emerald. The Emerald should be the actual color, so maybe it wasn't the best color match. And the only reason I say that is maybe that contributed to why Aura had a little bit better coverage. So as much as I'm sure everyone would love to watch me paint, I sped this one up by 20x so that you didn't have to sit through it. But again, I put another coat on and tried to keep everything the same. Now let's look at those results. Again, you can possibly see in the camera, maybe depending on your eyes, they're all white, but a little bit different. I definitely think the aura is a tinge of, you know, beige yellow in it, and the rest are pretty similar. If anything, the marquee and the uh, emerald are the most white. Now, let's see if this camera will pick it up. I honestly can't tell if that's gonna be able to be viewable, but they all covered in two coats except for emerald. You can definitely see, like, I don't know if, like on the little peaks of the little mounds in the drywall, I can see the black. Now I think if this was any color other than black, it would have covered, but the emerald, you would have to do three coats if you're painting a black wall, which is almost never, but it is nice to know these other three paints, you can put white over black, two coats, you're gonna be fine. Now here is the, Bear Marquee Cameo White, which is surprisingly white, and that's the whitest white they have that they claim covers in one coat. I put it over black, and it did not actually cover completely. It's hard to see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there are spots where I can see some bleed through on the black. It's similar to two coats of Emerald but wow, it definitely covers better than it does when you get Bear Marquee in this white. And it's like, I can't really tell that much of a difference between the two whites. If anything, I think the Cameo white looks brighter or more white and covers a lot better. So if you happen to use Bear Marquee on a job and you can use Cameo white, you no, put two coats that on, any color, you're gonna get phenomenal coverage. All right, so I'm sure a lot of people are out there thinking, you know what, for most scenarios, we're gonna put two coats on the walls, it's gonna cover and be fine. So I really don't mind or care which one covers the best, but something I would be interested in is, is there a paint that uh, resists staining or cleans up better? Well, if you're wondering that, you'll definitely like my next video. I'm gonna be testing out these paints. You know, I needed to make sure I waited long enough for them to cure, you know, over 30 days so that they've hardened up and they're ready to be washed. And if you find this stuff interesting, you can go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of paint testing videos like the exterior, which one covers best, which one fades the slowest, which one peels the slowest, that sort of thing. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.